me. So I'm Scott from TheRileyShop.com and this is my vlog. Yes, yeah, so if you saw my last episode, it was a bit of a different one. It's quite long, uh, quite heart to heart ish, if you like that. And I basically talked about all the different things I wanted to get up to and my little projects and how I wanted to make this channel a little bit more deeper than, you know, the usual taking some photos. Now, today's episode is me going to London for work. I've got an hour or so before work, I want to take some photos and I want to start this theme. And I guess the theme was going to be things I think shape your decisions every day. So things like insecurity for me, work, job, money, that type of thing. And uh, last one was family, which is most important. And I figured these things, yeah, shape your everyday decisions. I want to try and sort of, yeah, do that as a project really. And there's two parts to it. There's one like, physical format. There's one me showing you all that type of thing through my photography. And the second one is more about me and more about developing and more about like, growing, I suppose. I know that's a bit cheesy, but you know what I mean. Uh, so today's episode was going to be about insecurity and my massive insecurity and my massive anxiety. And I, long story short, was going to try and challenge myself to talk on the vlog, walk through King Kong Station, really put myself out there, out of my comfort zone. And I forgot the adapter for my Fuji that I was going to film on today for the microphone. So. I'm doing it now on the GoPro, I'm hoping to recover a bit of audio, all that stuff. But it's quiet, it's you know six o'clock in the morning in Huddersfield and I can get away with it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do it unfortunately in London, so I'm gonna to have to think of plan B. Right, so we're in, uh, in London and I'm walking to work. So this episode, like I said before, was going to be hopefully a little bit about me literally combating a little bit of my insecurity or my... Insecurity is like a general word from more of a meaning around anxiety and unconfidence and the whole sort of way you deal with life, I guess. Um, and today I figured what a good way that would be, just sort of a literal speaking, would be to try and just vlog in public and see how I get on. But second to that, I did bottle it through King's Cross train station. I just completely bottled it. I just, oh God, I felt absolutely sick. I thought we were going to throw up. Uh, this is the type of thing that I go through, but I figured you have got to challenge yourself if you're going to really put yourself out there. And I figured that uh, the whole reason I'm doing all these sort of videos is to try and get my art out there, try and, you know, put myself out on a ledge if you like. And I did bottle it this morning. I figured, um, I just couldn't do it, I just couldn't do it. So I'm doing it now in a little bit more of a quiet street. There's still people around, so I'm still quite proud of myself, to be fair. But it is really, really weird to do. So I wanted to sort of show this side of me, really, because I've got the GoPro on, I don't know if you can see, I've got my Fuji in my pocket, and I'm gonna start taking photos now and try to do the stuff that I like to do, which is hide behind the camera and, and pick out things that I, you know, think are visually, you know, important, that's bullshit, uh, that, that I like, that, that I think is like an artistic view. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to crack on, go through London, and then we'll talk a bit later on and uh, hopefully go through a bit more details about what I want to do. Really appreciate if you'd watched that last video. I put myself out there, really, really risked it, but I wanted to, and this is what I want the channel to be about. Not just about me taking photos, I want it to be about me, you know, sort of talking about like insecurity and, and what's important and what shapes you every day and hopefully put some, some things out there that you can take from it. So let's see what I get up to anyway, let's crack on. Uh, light came out for a little bit, maybe 15 minutes, and it's out right now, but uh, I've got to get to work. And gone alright, I think I've got maybe two, two decent photos that I'm quite happy with, which, yeah, it's gone okay, really. I said this morning, I think, anyway, I don't know if it's on camera or not, that I really want to go for Golden Triangle composition because 
I'm not really good at it, I never really think about that particular composition style. So today I found a really good literal one, of like a puddle in a like in a, in a side street, which is really, really quite cool. And yeah, I think that's gonna come out all right, I think. And then the light came out, and I got a good couple of ones. Again, trying to work on that whole golden sort of triangle. Is it called golden triangle? I can't remember. Uh, sort of, yeah, uh, composition style. So now, I'm gonna have to get to work, but it's been pretty good today. I've not really gone with a vlog about what to do, which is all about this deep insecurity, I don't think. But we'll see how I get on in a little bit. I've still got a 10 minute walk to do. Uh, yeah, so see if we've got what else up to. I'm walking past Tate Britain. In terms of an artist, if you can't get any inspiration from here, when can you? And talking about this insecurity all the way through this episode, what I want to say is basically, I really did bail out, I did completely bail out of doing a vlog in King Cross. I was so nervous, I felt sick. But getting behind the camera for an hour, taking photos, not necessarily all the best results, it just builds your confidence back up. I can't explain it, it's really weird, but now look, I'm filming. Although it's on my phone because I've had this audio trouble and no one's probably watching, but I am filming people around me. I'm going past Tate, which is amazing, and yeah, there you go, it is amazing. I've just got one. It's a stupid car that went past it, but we can't hear me. It is amazing, I think I've just got one really, really good one, I hope, at the end there. The lights just come out, loads of awesome shadows knocking about, and there's this tree that I'm going to show you now, the tree, and it basically mirrored with its own shadow, and all the branches came pointing down. I waited for that minimalistic effect, and the chap walked past, he got a good date. Really, really, really happy with that. And the other ones I'm going to show you, that's what I've got today. So, I'm really chuffed because I like to try and do my little Instagram account on sort of threes. I like to get three good photos with the theme and get a bit of consistency with my gallery. So that's really chuffed, like really made me happy that last one because it's my third one that I think I can get. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. These are the couple of failed ones I got and I'm gonna head off now. So thank you very much and we'll see you hopefully in a couple of weeks.